The next one is uh, I'll do a uh, demonstration on cleaning the electrodes. So we have uh, uh, the electrode cleaning disc, which is uh, a pink disc, which has got uh, it's, a, it's a rubber impregnated with uh, oxides to uh, act as an abrasive. Here I've got some uh, old electrodes that we can play with. So there's uh, a couple of things that we can do here. We can um, uh, check the quality of the end of the electrode by using uh, a magnifying lens. We're looking for it to be uh, uh, completely uh, symmetrical and no damage to the tip, no um, etching. <clears throat> if the tip is uh, good enough to maintain, what we do is we push it into the sidewall uh, three or four times and uh, twist it backwards and forwards half a dozen times. So what this does, it knocks the oxides off the tip. Now typically that's all that's required um, on the electrode. Uh, it gets wiped with uh, alcohol to remove uh, skin oils and then put back into the machine. Now I also have one here that has got um, quite heavy uh, oxidisation on the surface. Now you need to keep in mind that the uh, oxidisation on the surface will reduce the flow of energy. The energy is flowing down the surface of an electrode. So when you have oxidised uh, electrodes, you can clean the oxidisation off again with the same uh, electrode cleaning disc. How long does the electrode cleaning disc last? Uh, years, years and years. Uh, I have one here that uh, has been on the service desk uh, doing machines day in and day out for uh, three years. <laughs> It's also quite uh, useful to put it on a flat surface. Um, makes it easier to control the uh, electrode. So now I've got the uh, oxides off that. Clean the, uh, the tip. Again, three or four. Then wipe the uh, skin oils off. And now that's uh, ready to be uh, to re be redeployed. <laughs>